Okay, we're gonna start today with just a little small tour of this weedy garden. I have not been in this garden now for three weeks, except to maybe pick a few raspberries for the family outings and so on, or to turn the water on and off. But there are so many weeds. We had to be out of the store by the end of June. And so we moved a hundred pianos and all the parts bins and all the spare supplies boxes and things out of the store over to the home shop and the uh, storage units and there was a priority there and this had to suffer so all you can see is weeds there's just you can barely i don't even think you can see the flowers for all the weeds so i think someone must have stopped by one night and weeded this little section of marigolds because there are no weeds there. Yet look at all the rest of this. All of these purpley flowered weeds are a foot tall and they're covering everything except the sunflowers on the end. What a mess. I have a couple of days now where we're not too scheduled up and I'm going to spend some time in the garden and pull these weeds and uh, also get these grapes finally tied up that should have been tied up a month ago. Actually you tie grapes on a continual basis but you can, you know, wow you can't even see the carrots. Look at all the weeds in these raspberries, wow. The tomatoes do well because we mulch them with plastic mulch. Yeah, there's not hardly a weed in those tomatoes. The cucumbers need to be weeded and tied to their strings. Can't do that in the morning because they'll they'll uh, be crisp. The vines will be crisp, and if you try to wrap these these around the strings, they'll you'll break the the uh, cucumber vine. They'll snap because they're so crisp in the cool morning air. The strawberries are done. We picked about a pound four days ago, and that was it. There is not one ripe strawberry out here, I doubt. And I can start to see a few blossoms. There's one. <laughs> but, this, but the blossoms are going to have to reset. Oh, I see a little bit of red out here. But boy, I'll bet if I could pick another pound uh, out of 300 plants, I'd be surprised. They're just done with their first crop of the season, and now they'll reset and continue growing. Of course, these are new plants. There's a couple of ripe ones. They're new plants and they will continue to grow. But we've picked at least 10 and 12 pounds off of this uh, little patch of new strawberries. We have tried to keep the thistle and the weeds out of the potatoes. They're not doing too bad. And we pulled some thistle and some grass out of the raspberries. Back here though, you can barely see my squash plants. There's so many weeds. So, I took the tiller down through here a couple days ago in the two seconds I had and knocked down some of these two foot tall weeds. This section of heritage raspberries we haven't even touched, barely even been in there uh, since we planted the broccoli. And the broccoli is about, I'd say, starting to grow some, some broccoli here. Now see, this was cut, what, a week ago? And you can see our little heads. They're really nice. That's two inches. Now it's three inches. We can come out and cut broccoli for a meal off of some of these. And the ones that we left because they were so small have gotten big enough to... That's massive. That's huge, that one. Yeah, that's probably ten inches across. And there's a couple more like that. There's one over there. Another ten inch head of broccoli. We're going to process, process those today. Here's another one. Really pretty head of broccoli we'll process today now that it's large enough and just don't want them to open and start blooming. Okay, so to weeding. I'm going to make a walk back here again. We discovered the uh, squash beetle 
yesterday. See our pretty zucchini? Our, our zucchini are starting to produce. There's one. There's one. There's only one on each of those, but there were four on one, and the squash beetles just decimated the plant. And we discovered them, so we did some squishing last night, and we discovered their little eggs up under the leaves, and we cleaned those. We can clean those off with a toothbrush. It's really hard to get down in there to get those little tiny yellow eggs between the veins of the plant underneath. So I'll use a toothbrush and hold the back of the leaf with my hand and, and use the toothbrush underneath to brush those off onto something that we can squish. Otherwise you squish the leaf. And if you have to squish the leaf, that's better than having thousands and thousands of squash beetles ruin your vines. And if you'll stay on top of it, if we stay on top of it, we'll keep our squash. Primark Freedom blackberries. We've just sort of let go this year because they weren't being tended to before, so we cut them completely off last fall. These will actually fruit this year. They're a Primacane black, Primacane blackberry. All right, this is where we'll start. There's a row of beans right here you can't see. I can't see it either. Oh, I guess you can try to see a bean plant right there. There's one sticking out of the weeds, but that what a mess. And this row of peas, I can see the peas, but I can sure see the weeds and they need to come out. Same with the flower weeds.